Welcome to Everyday Happiness, where we create lasting happiness in about two minutes a day through my signature method of intentional margins, creating harmony between your to-dos and your priorities, happiness science, and musings about life. I'm your host, Katie Jeffcoat, and I was watching a TED Talk on changing the world with laughter. I'll link it in the show notes. The speaker, stand-up comedian Greg Kettner, believes that laughter gets us through life. Because when we laugh, we connect. And when we connect, our hearts are open. And when our hearts are open, the world is a better place. But the staggering statistics are that kids laugh up to 300 times a day, where adults laugh only 17 times a day. He asks the audience a thought-provoking question. Do we not laugh because we are stressed? Or are we so stressed we don't have time to laugh. The big idea in this TED Talk was that we can all make our world a better place one laugh at a time. I was thinking about this as it refers to happiness because if you've listened to the show for a bit, we know happiness is not just emotions like laughing, um, but also purpose and satisfaction. It's undeniable that one of the best ways to achieve fulfilled happiness is through social connection. See where we're going with this? When you hang out with your friends and you laugh the night away, how do you feel? My mom is a great storyteller and she tells the tales of her experiences and they're super funny. She's done some stupid stuff that she laughs all the time about and everyone loves going to her house if she's had a few beers she'll hold court and people will be hanging on her every word my friend sue she's like this too she lives around the corner from me and she's really just like my mom in this way she's got an arsenal of funny stories sharing about life we sit at her outdoor table sometimes when it's chilly we bring our blankets and we always laugh laughter is a gift It's a gift we can give others. Not all of us are gifted at inspiring laughter, but what a gift it is. Even in school, my kids can tell you who the funny kids are. They can also recognize the nuance between a class clown, a self-deprecating funny guy, a kind of funny kid that the kid uses to, you know, get others to laugh. Like when they poke on kids, you know, and they like, you know, say things that maybe aren't as nice. And my kids already can see the nuance that that's a total turnoff and needs to be stopped, right? So I think people want to laugh. We want to be prompted to laugh. It's harder as adults. The research is undeniable. We need to laugh more. Perhaps we are intentional about finding our laugh tribe. Who is in your life that brings laughter into your world? So until next time, Remember, kindness is contagious. And go out there and find someone to laugh with.